There's some concern that maybe the government is not going to turn back on the taps that led to 2016 being a record year. And of course, we're seeing Chinese corporate debt is at really high levels. How do you see M&A activity into China and outside of China? Ruth, this year it's definitely slowed down after the, uh, the crackdown and some reforms. Uh, but I think the Congress will be an important chance for the um, president to show that actually China is open for business. It will welcome expansion. If you look at the Belt Road initiative, um, it's going to want to continue outward expansion. And we at Link Ladies, when we've looked at that market, we think there'll be 1.5 trillion of outbound M&A investment over the next decade. So still a massive player in world M&A. Yes, it's quietened down for certain types of companies buying speculative assets. But I think for the really good Chinese companies looking to do outbound M&A, I don't think there'll be many headwinds in their way. You spoke of buying into speculative assets. One of the big stories about whether Chinese companies are going to be buying is into Aramco, you know, amid talk of whether they go ahead and they do an international IPO or whether they do a private placement. You probably, being in London, have seen a lot of the noise around investors being unhappy with the rules being changed for the London Stock Exchange. How do you see that playing out? Will the world's biggest IPO end up being a private placement? So it's, it's fascinating. You've got an amazing company in Saudi Aramco. But the problem is, how do you get a free float for a company that big of 25%? So I think London would love to have it. Uh, the regulators do need to listen to the long-only funds who are saying, don't go and drop the standards uh, and just make exceptions just because it's a big company. Uh, we want to keep the governance standards high. So hopefully a middle ground can be reached. Normally they can with practical people. But a private placement, and I don't know whether it's going to happen or not happen, there's nothing official being announced, but might be quite a clever two-step process on taking a large company like that, state-owned, bring some outside investors in, get used to, used to those investors, do a local listing, and in due course then uh, do a, a large international listing. So I think they could do either, but it wouldn't surprise me if that potentially is where it lands up.